Well, good evening, everyone. Thanks for, for joining us again tonight. Um, I'd like to share a uh, reflection going back to uh, Brennan Manning's uh, Reflections for Ragamuffins, uh, entitled The One Beside Us. And it reads, standing on a London street corner, G.K. Chesterton was approached by a newspaper reporter. Sir, I understand that you recently became a Christian. May I ask you one question? Certainly, replied Chesterton. If the risen Christ suddenly appeared at this very moment and stood behind you, what would you do? And Chesterton looked the reporter squarely in the eye and said, he is. Now, is this merely a figure of speech, wishful thinking, a piece of pious rhetoric? No, this truth is the most real fact about our life. It is our life. The Jesus who walked the roads of Judea and Galilee is the one who stands beside us. The Christ of history is the Christ of faith. And uh, Brennan Manning invites us to consider Matthew 28, 7, which reads, Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He is risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. And as I was thinking about that, that image of Chesterton replying, he is, he is beside me. And how easily that might come to our lips, the idea of, of Christ, God is with you, God is with me, God, God is present in this place. And how do we wrap our minds and our hearts around that, or even probably more accurately, just open our minds and our hearts to that reality, uh, where it's more than words, as, as Brennan Manning says. And, and if we say that, the idea that, that Jesus is with us uh, in this moment, present here and now, is that scary? Is that kind of like the image of Santa Claus, uh, according to Calvin and Hobbes, the, the kindly uh, jolly old elf or CIA spook, the one who's watching over us, just waiting for us to slip up? Or what does it mean that Jesus is here present with us? And how does that then you know, affect the question, what would you do if he was here? Well, he is here. What do we do with that? Um, and I'm invited to think, or what, what came to my mind uh, was, in fact, uh, the, the prayer that's attributed, at least, to St. Patrick, uh, that it's, it's a very long prayer, so I won't try to, to recite all of it, but the part that most people are familiar with reads as this, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me. Christ on my right and Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down and Christ when I sit down, and Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. And I, I've always, as, as long as I've known of that prayer, um, that image has resonated with me is that that prayer that's attributed at least to St. Patrick is a prayer of grounding in the day of what does it mean to be able to meet this day uh, or to rest in God's presence at the conclusion of the day. And for, for this prayer for St. Patrick, it was being rooted in the presence of Christ all around us that sustains us, that leads us, that encourages. Um, but not just that we see Jesus around us and perceive his presence, but also the prayer that others might perceive Christ at work in us. Uh, when they see us, when they hear us, um, are they hearing Christ? And the, the amazing claim and the truth is, is that as our lives are being Slowly, sometimes, at least I'll say for myself, you know, as, as God continues to work on us and on me, uh, the answer to that is yes, that people will see, will begin to see Christ in us. And, and may, we, may we name that as being God's work uh, and not just, you know, drawing the attention to ourselves, but, um, but that genuine sense of the presence of God that is for all of us as God loves each and every one of us, as God has such love for this world, 
that, that God's placed us in. And so wherever you are uh, tonight, whatever's going on in life, uh, whether uh, may feel uh, particularly holy or not, um, it's okay. Uh, the presence of God is here. The presence of Christ is with you and with me. And by the grace of God, as we open ourselves to it, the presence of Christ within us. Uh, and may, may then that be a comfort to us and also an invitation uh, to live within that, that others might be refreshed by the presence of God as well. And may God bless you and keep you wherever you are. Good night.